There are a lot of different ways to carry your gear on the run, ranging from smaller belts and handhelds all the way up to larger vests and packs. Which one's best for you is going to depend on how long your run is, what you need to carry, and your personal preference. Let's go into detail on the different ways to carry your gear. So your smallest options are going to be armbands like this or belts. These don't have a ton of capacity, so they're great for short runs where you don't need to carry much with you or longer runs in conjunction with another type of vest or pack. Um, something like this can really just stash your phone or your keys, or maybe some of these belts with slightly larger pockets can also hold a snack as well. Next up is handheld bottles. I personally love these. They're some of my favorite pieces of trail running gear. They're great because you basically have enough water to be out for an hour or two, and you have a little pouch usually that can carry maybe your phone if it's big enough, but definitely your keys and a snack. Uh, these are awesome because the, you don't have to have anything on your body, and they're good visual representation of how much water you're drinking. Um, some people don't like the hard bottles, however, so there are soft bottle options which shrink as you go, so they get smaller and remind you to drink your water. However, there are drawbacks to handheld bottles. Obviously, you're not gonna be hands-free. I don't mind this personally, but if you're gonna be on a trail with a lot of scrambling or rocks, it's good to have maybe some hand movement in there, so uh, you might wanna avoid something like this. So, waste packs come in a variety of sizes, ranging from smaller ones like this, where you might be able to stash your phone, keys, maybe a snack as well, to larger ones like this, where you'll encounter a cinch cord and you can stash an extra layer. These are a super personal thing. I don't tend to run with them because they don't fit my body type very well, but I know a lot of runners who swear by them. One great thing about them is that you get to be hands-free, so if you're on a technical trail with a lot of scrambling, you have your hands to do everything else and you don't have to worry about your water. For longer runs or for run commuting, vests and packs are another great option for carrying your gear. The line between a vest and a pack is kind of blurred, but generally you're gonna see more front features on a vest and often some type of paneling like this for a more snug fit. However, there's a big variety in between the two. I really like this smaller pack because it's basically got just enough space for a layer and some snacks, and it's got multiple points of adjustability, so I'll use this for a medium to long trail run when it's maybe warmer weather and I don't need a ton of stuff. Something like this is awesome if you need to carry even more. It's got multiple stash pockets and you're gonna have a lot of um, space up front to put snacks, your phone, um, and there's even smaller water bottles in here. Most vests and packs you'll encounter will also have a space inside to put a hydration reservoir if you need to carry more fluids with you. So with all of this gear and especially vests and packs, fit is super important. I personally like to run with women's specific packs like this one because they usually have multiple points of adjustability so I get a more secure fit. It's really important to try things on before you purchase something so definitely head into your local REI, try some packs on, fill them up, run around and see what feels best for you. If you'd like to learn more about trail running, be sure to check out our other videos and I hope to see you out on the trails.